Well, hello, 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 it's Vegas Poly C, and I did a 10 minute video about this. If you didn't see the first part, here's the quick story on the second part. Um, this guy, John Fiorella, who now works at the Wynn, they hired him over there, uh, theoretically. I don't know this for a fact, but Vegas Starfish thinks that it's him. You can see this in her email to me. Um, and you guys should really read this. Uh, she feels that he's dangerous. I don't really feel that way. I feel that he's just a poor thing who's just confused. But I told him straight out that he cannot handle Vegas. Some people just can't handle Vegas. So this is the email that he sent to Vegas Starfish accusing me of having a 15 year old. Here's the second part. Uh, I have been told uh, he harasses you and keeps bad mouthing you. The man is disgusting, he lies and is a monster. I know someone who told me he did this to his daughter. His father is in jail, how convenient at the moment. But when, his, but when he gets out of jail, this man is done. Several people have come forward and told me this. I trust the sources. And I like the caption here. Vegas Pauly C is a child pedophile and liar. Garbage of a man, he touched my daughter who's only 15. What does it say? What does the rest of that say? Um, disgusting, he's 60 years old. Well, that's kind of true. And he pretends to be a good man. You guys who know, the, you guys who watch the show know that I do not pretend to be a good man. I'm a broken toy. Uh, he's a monster, his girlfriend needs to run. So of course, Mahi saw this immediately uh, because I have to share everything with her. I mean, if I'm sharing everything with you, you can imagine. Okay, here's a better view of it. So anyway, this guy got fired from, no, he didn't get fired. He quit the Fontainebleau because he was under investigation for sending me a video of the casino. And this whole story has taken such a toxic and ridiculous turn. I wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, I said to Mahi, who's the 15 year old? You know what I mean? It's like, let's get her out, out there, you know? So if you're the girl who this is supposedly about, please come forward. You know, I mean, the whole thing is so preposterous. So I'd like to put a message out there to John Fiorella, who I don't know for a fact is the person who's doing this, but um, Vegas Starfish is convinced that it's him. And who else could it be? I mean, who else would do this? I feel bad for you, dude. You know, I know that you're out here kind of all alone. I know that you're working 12, 13, 14 hours a day. Being a chef is probably one of the hardest jobs in the world. You don't get much. You get little to no accolades. The food goes out the door. You only hear about it when it's bad, you know. Pe very rarely do people send compliments back to the chef, and even if they do, does it really get back there? I feel bad for you, man, but my, my advice to you is, if this is your first couple of months um, in Las Vegas, having a problem with the Fontainebleau and not apologizing to them. You owe them an apology. I apologize to them. You know, grabbing another job at the win, um, not having a dollar to the point where you, you tell my girlfriend you have $50 to your name. Oh yeah, I sent him $1,900. That's part of this story. I sent him $1,900 because he got fired from the Fontainebleau and he said he didn't have a dollar to even get his car um, out of repair. And I'm a big gambler. And even though I'm challenged financially, I have money floating around. So I just pretend that I lost $1,900 and I sent him the $1,900. Mahi hit the roof and she said, and she's right. She said, you are not to send anybody money anymore before we discuss it. And she's right about that because we've been together for six years. Uh, and you know, th that type of thing is not something you do behind your significant other's back. But my advice to John is you dude, you need to go back to Florida. You're not gonna make it in Vegas. Uh, I can barely handle Vegas. People just can't handle Vegas. I don't know whether it's drinking with you or gambling with you or um, spending money or I don't know what you're doing out here, but your first six months and what, you, what you're trying to do to me and what you've done to the Fontainebleau, you caused them all kinds of damage because you enli enlisted my aid against them when it wasn't true. And now you're over at the wind working as a chef and the Lord only knows what trouble you're gonna cause them. 
you know, they're, they're, I'm, I'm speaking to you as an addict. I'm speaking to you as someone who knows. I'm speaking to you as someone who has caused pain to people. I've caused plenty of pain to people in my life by spending money I didn't have, by gambling money I didn't have, by borrowing money I didn't have. You know, you guys have heard the story. At one time I owed Anne Marie $100,000. I had all her credit cards maxed out. She's not the worst. Um, my business partner for years and years and years and years, Bruce, he suffered. You know, when I was destroying myself, he suffered. He always supported me. Shout out to him, fantastic guy. You know, we're still friends after 50 years. We know each other for 50 years since we're little kids. He suffered through so much bullshit. I've caused him so much pain. Employees, um, shout out to Chris Sue. There were moments in my relationship with Chris, with Chris that I wasn't the boss I should have been because I was gambling on the stock market, because I was just being a jerk, because I was getting high. I was getting high by doing irrational things with money, abusing money. Um, a lot of people who know me have been through a lot. So I feel terrible about that. And I guess what I'm most proud of is that all of these people that I've put through a lot, I, they're all still right there with me. Anne Marie, Bruce, um, even the man behind the man up there in the, in the condo, you know, he's, you know, he's watched my lunacy. I haven't really put him through through too much, but even he stands, you know, with me. Mahi, um, because I think the people that are on the inside of my life, and I don't know if I mentioned Chris Sue, but I think the people who work, who we work, I work very closely with him for five or six years. I think the people that are on the inside of my life know that, and I've used this term several times, they know that I come from a place of innocence and they know that I'm a mess and they know that I'm an addict and they know that I'm just at the end of the day trying to have fun and trying to entertain and trying to enjoy life and that I just have so much gratitude. But when you do something like this, when you put out there that I'm this and I did that and I have a 15 year old in my life and I'm talking to you, John, and again, I'm not angry with you. I, I feel terrible that you're in this much pain, that you would actually construct this and cause this trouble for the Fontainebleau and try and derail my career and like, if you're capable of this, wow, you know, what else are you capable of? You know, and I think this is why Vegas Starfish says in the other part of her email here to me, I think this is why she says that you're dangerous and should be taken seriously. He emails a lot. So you're harassing her. You're sending her all kinds of emails. She doesn't need this, even though I have this um, adversarial relationship with her. And I call her the dinosaur because again, I don't believe that her style is the future and I'm having fun with it. And maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right, but you know, it is what it is. I'm not gonna dial back on it now. Even though um, she sent me this uh, and feels that you're dangerous, I hope, I hope that you're not dangerous, John. And in closing, cause I'm not gonna go on and on and on here. You really need to leave Vegas. You've dis disgraced yourself at the Fontainebleau. You're probably not gonna stop with this and you know, this other, this other thing here, this other, really the second part is even more ridiculous. This part here, you know, you're, if you did this, you're probably not gonna stop. You're probably gonna, I guess, escalate, which is what? Like, you, you know, like, what do you do next? Do you grab me on the strip and beat the hell out of me? Is that what you're gonna do next? Is that what you wanna do? Or do you just wanna stop? Do you wanna leave? I would go back to Florida. I really would. That is my, as an old man giving you advice, John, uh, I, would, I would leave Las Vegas. Um, I don't know what else to say. So that's my vlog, it's two 10 minute parts. Whoever watched this, thank you for watching. Uh, I don't have a lot of traffic on YouTube, but here's the whole story and I'll be referring to it all the time on um, TikTok because I can't tell this story on TikTok. I can allude to it, but I can't give all the details. I can't, I can't show the email from Vegas Starfish. So there's the whole story. Vegas Paulie C.